hopefully Parker's enjoying the weather. He's probably yeah. thinking it's not great for the ski resorts oh, yeah. and things that we're trying to get going. But, hey, don't worry. You know, these warm temperatures can't last forever. Can they? That's a question, right? Because it seems like we keep getting uh, back in this warm pattern with these temperatures at or above normal for this time of the year. And sure enough, we're there again today. Look at that. 72 currently in Logan, 63 in Price, 77 degrees in Milford. We've got 77 in Delta, 63 in Price, 66 in Blanding, and 82 degrees currently in St. George. So today, what I've seen so far is that we've hit 78 degrees at the airport, and I think that officially means that we've broken the record. The previous record was 77, set back in 1952. So yeah, we've got a new record high as of today, once again, in the record books. If you're making plans heading out this evening, mostly clear skies expected for us as we go throughout the evening. Upper 70s giving way to low 70s through the early evening hours, and then we're down into the mid-60s by 9 o'clock tonight along the Wasatch Front. If you're heading out down towards St. George, we're looking at sunshine pretty toasty early on with temperatures in the low to mid-80s, falling to near 80 by 7 p.m. in the low 70s as we get towards 9 p.m. All right, let's look at 4-1 radar. All is quiet. We've got that southwesterly flow with those arrows coming across the state that's wrapping around this area of high pressure. The big blue H, that's our weather friend. That means usually good weather. We're tracking a cold front, though, to the north and west. That's not necessarily great news but we are dealing with above average temperatures, so if we want to get them to cool down, we've got to get a front through here. You also see some moisture with this front. Now, so keep an eye on that moisture. Notice with Futurecast, that front rolls into the northern half of the state around Cache Valley as we get towards midnight or so tonight, and we could squeeze out a few light rain showers up and down the 15 corridor from, uh, let's say, southern Idaho down into, let's say, Logan and Ogden. That's pretty much going to be about the best chance to see a little bit of light rain as this front moves on through, and then after that, it's out of here by the time you wake up early Thursday morning, we'll have a few scattered clouds across the north. But the big story will be that northwesterly flow kicking in, giving us much cooler weather. It's going to be sharply cooler across the north for your Thursday. So get ready for that cool down. It's brief, but it's sharp. And then it moves right out of here. And then notice by Friday, we've got high pressure building back in, heading into the weekend. And we're talking about a spectacular weekend for outdoor activities. Maybe one of the last weekends to maybe get out towards the lake or get on the water because temperatures not too bad out there for us. And then look what's knocking on our door to kick off our Halloween week, a colder and wetter pattern with a more significant storm rolling our way. And then we'll deal with that through Wednesday and could have another cold and wet storm by the end of the week. So the long range future cast shows warming conditions heading into the weekend with just a few increase in clouds. Here comes that first chance of rain showers on your Monday, transitioning over and mixing with maybe some snow showers across the north on your Tuesday. That could stick around for us through Wednesday morning. That pushes out of here. And here comes that second system knocking on the door Thursday. Of course, Halloween is Thursday, so we're going to watch the timing of this because late Thursday into Friday is when we have this system rolling through for now. Hopefully it stays that way and doesn't try to come in earlier to NP our trick-or-treat forecast, but we'll keep a close eye on it. Here's a look at your uh, forecast in St. George. So enjoy the 80s over the next few days with a mixture of sun and clouds, and that looks to stick around until we cool it down with those rain chances next week. And the Wasatch Front, we're talking temperatures sharply cooler tomorrow, so be aware of that into the 50s before we're back in the 70s this weekend, and then maybe some rain and snow and much cooler next week. Hey, I've had the windows open already. Oh, really nice. nice. Yes. Really nice. Yes. So yeah. spin it in. Some yes. good weather, you're bringing it for opening night for the Jazz. We're trying you? to because it's a big party. we got to have the weather nice. It